Hey ladies and gentlemen, today I have a lavalier microphone which is the most popular and the most loved microphone among many of the YouTube creators. Yes, you guessed it right. I am talking about the Boya BYM1 lavalier condenser microphone. Well, you must have already seen a lot of unboxing videos of this particular microphone but in this video, I shall be telling you how you can check whether your product is an authentic product from Boya and how you can protect yourself from a fake product in this market where many of the fake products are being sold disguised in a packing looking quite similar to the original box. Well, apart from that, I will be also telling you why this microphone is the best microphone out in the market at this budget segment. Well, I will not tell you that it is best because it records a better quality sound from other microphones available in the market. But I will be explaining you the actual working principle behind this microphone and how this microphone produces a better quality audio recording than any other ordinary microphone available in the market. So stay with me till the end of the video and let's quickly jump into the unboxing of this microphone. Okay, so the microphone ships in a quite good box packing and on all the sides of the box the model number of the microphone that is BYM1 is mentioned quite clearly and one thing I noticed that there is no MRP written on the box and that may be because this is a product imported from China and on the rear side of the box you may find some technical specifications about the microphone. There is the frequency range, the sensitivity, the impedance, the connectors that we get inside the box and something more. But that we'll see once we unbox it and this is the authenticity sticker which I was talking about and you should make sure that your microphone has this authenticity sticker mentioned on it and you will need to scratch the QR code over here and then you should scan this QR code by any QR code scanner in your mobile application and this will make sure that the product which you get online or even if you buy from a retail store that is the genuine product from Boya. Okay so now quickly look inside what we get inside the box. And here is a beautiful leather pouch and here is a user manual. I think we have got something more. Okay, so this is a notice from Boya and it is mentioned in Chinese. So let us read it. Well, I know Chinese. So it is written here. Well, let me translate this for you. It is basically saying that it is basically saying that you do not need to read any of this if you are intelligent enough and you watch this video to the end. So make sure you watch this video to the end. Okay, so getting back to this pouch, this is a very good quality leather pouch provided by Boya to carry your microphone and let's see what's inside it. And here we get a silicone gel. Here are some connectors, I presume. Let me quickly open it. Okay, so here is the battery for providing power to the condenser. Here is a foam to protect the wind from your microphone. Here is a adapter to connect this microphone to any amplifier or any power supply. And here is a clip to clip on to your collar. Well, this is quite good quality and very hard and here is the main microphone okay so this one is having a very long cable so i guess it is around six feet long and let me just quickly unwrap it yes the cable is pretty long enough and it is very good that uh, you can attach this cable to your camera or the smartphone and you can go at a distance and record the audio okay so this is the condenser microphone and this is the power adapter for the condenser inside the microphone. So here is the most important thing of this power adapter. You have two on off switches, one for camera and one for smartphone. Well, if you are attaching it to the camera, then I guess the condenser will be used. And if you are attaching it to your smartphone, then the condenser will be uh, switched off. 
so this is basically the power adapter to provide power to the condenser well how does the condenser work in this microphone i will be explaining you quite shortly in this video itself so make sure to watch this till the end and this one is the 3.5 mm connector to connect to your cameras or to your smartphone Okay, so previously in all my other videos, I used to record the sound from the microphone of my earphones and now you're hearing the sound from the Boya BY-M1 Lavalier condenser microphone. As you can see, this microphone is attached to my collar and it is recommended that you attach the microphone a few centimeters away from the source of sound and that will enable the microphone to capture a better quality of audio. Well, in the market, you can easily get many microphones starting from price as low as 250 Indian rupees but those may not produce a good quality of sound that is because those are known as dynamic microphones there are basically two kinds of microphones one is dynamic microphone and the other one is a condenser microphone like this one okay so in this boya microphone you get a power adapter like this one which provides external power to the condenser of the microphone well in this power adapter you have a switch on off key and on the upper side is written as camera and when you put the switch on the camera side then the condenser is activated and it is switched on and uh, in a camera the condenser microphone needs an external power but if you switch it off and connect it to a smartphone then this condenser microphone will not require any kind of external power so now let me explain you why this microphone is called a condenser microphone and how is this different from a regular dynamic microphone which is available at quite cheaper price in the market so now let's understand the working of a dynamic microphone in a dynamic microphone you get a membrane and to that membrane is attached a heavy copper coil and inside the copper coil there is a cylindrical magnet piece now this magnet piece produces a magnetic field which is surrounding the copper coil and the diaphragm is responsible to produce the vibrations whenever you speak or whenever any sound vibrations go and hit the diaphragm the diaphragm starts vibrating and with that diaphragm vibrating the copper coil attached to the diaphragm also moves and since there is a movement in the copper coil this produces distortion in the magnetic field and this distortion in this constant magnetic field produces a current inside the copper coil which in turn is changed into electrical signals so in this way the sound waves are transformed into electrical signals now this dynamic microphone has many disadvantages because of the heavy copper coil attached to the diaphragm the diaphragm is unable to catch a wide range of frequencies so the dynamic microphone can capture only a limited range of frequencies and the audio input captured by a dynamic microphone is also of very low decibels moreover in a dynamic microphone you have to maintain an axis of delivering the audio to the microphone so in a dynamic microphone Microphone while speaking if you move around it is quite likely that the microphone will miss out many of the audio notes so now let's understand the working of a condenser microphone and after this it will be quite clear to you why this lavalier condenser microphone captures a better quality audio so in a condenser microphone there are two parallel copper plates which are charged and this is exactly similar to a capacitor well in this one copper plate is attached and the other one is attached to the diaphragm and also free to move along with the diaphragm so whenever sound waves come and hit the diaphragm the diaphragm vibrates and with that the charged free moving copper plate vibrates while the other copper plate remains attached on fixed to its position now we all know that in a capacitor there are two charged plates and the electricity produced by the capacitor or the electric current or the charge stored by the capacitor is dependent on the distance between the two charged plates so these two copper plates are charged and along the vibrations of the diaphragm the free moving copper plate also vibrates and there is a change in the distance between the two copper plates now these copper plates are given charge by an external power source that is they require at least a minimum amount of voltage to keep these copper plates charged and that is what exactly this power adapter in this boya by m1 microphone is working for and whenever you attach to a camera this is switched on and it makes the copper plates charged so that was basically the working of a condenser microphone 
Now what are the advantages of a condenser microphone? Since the diaphragm is attached to a very lightweight copper plate, the diaphragm is very much sensitive to a wide range of frequencies that is it can capture a wider range of frequencies, it can capture very low notes as well as very high notes and also the audio captured by a condenser microphone is of quite high volume that is the decibel level of this audio is also high, the impedance is also quite high and hence this produces a very clear and a good quality of sound. Well there is one disadvantage of a condenser microphone and that is that you cannot expose this microphone to very high levels of sound. The diaphragm is very sensitive to sound and if very high levels of sound hit this diaphragm then there are chances that the diaphragm may get damaged. And that is why it is recommended to use a condenser microphone from a distance. So that is all about this Boya BY-M1 microphone. I hope you like this video and if this video helped you in gaining a good knowledge about the working of a condenser microphone and how and why is this condenser microphone better than any other dynamic microphones available in the market, then leave behind a big like for this video and also share this video with all your friends and family. And before leaving, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below along with pressing the bell icon beside it so that you never miss an awesome tech update from my side. See you in my next video. Till then, goodbye. Okay.